The DMK today released its manifesto for the Lok Sabha elections of 2024. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has promised more autonomy for states if the India bloc is voted to par. Some of the key promises in the DMK's manifesto include an exemption for Tamil Nadu from NEET. Uh, this is something that the political party has been asking for for years. It also talks about repealing of the CAA and a monthly sum of rupees 1,000 for all women across the country. This comes even as the BJP, led by the Prime Minister himself, has increased its outreach in Tamil Nadu, a state where the BJP drew a blank in 2019 Lok Sabha elections. On the 15th of March, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made his sixth visit to Tamil Nadu in 2024. And uh, we've also seen the DMK sharpening its anti-BJP rhetoric. So will the BJP breach the Dravidian fortress this time in a state that's marked by distinct Nature of Dravidian politics centered around Tamil pride and self-respect. Will the BJP get its act right? Is the party finally speaking the language that Tamil Nadu understands? That's what we'll discuss tonight. But first, let me go across uh, uh, to this conversation that my colleague Sam Daniel had with uh, DMK MP Kanimuli earlier today. Joining us now, DMK MP Kanimuli. Thank you very much for your time. You're the architect of the manifesto. What's the larger theme of this? Uh, federal rights, state rights uh, has been a focus uh, for us and uh, I think uh, more than uh, you know anything else, what the union government can do is what we focused on. Also. Are these implementable? For example, AIMS was a promise made last time, I mean no, exemption of need. Definitely if the government changes. Uh, then we can, and I'm sure that people want to change all over India. So there will be a new government, an India government, and uh, we will be able to do whatever we've promised. You have been fielded for Chutigurin for the second time as a Lok Sabha candidate. I feel very happy and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to uh, the party and our leader for giving me an opportunity for the second time. What's the number you're expecting? Last time you have 139. 39. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was DMK MP Kanimali talking to us in Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. Joining me on this broadcast today to discuss this, Narayan Tirupati, Vice President of the Tamil Nadu BJP. We also have SAS Hafizullah, who is the spokesperson of the DMK, and Dr. Sumant Raman, who is the political analyst and commentator. Thank you all of you for uh, joining me on this uh, show. Uh, uh, right to you, uh, Mr. Tirupati. Sir, uh, you know, in the last few years, we have seen not just the Kashi Tamil Sangamam, we have seen the celebration of Sengol. But, you know, this AIDMK BJP uh, split, do you think perception wise this affects the party's prospects in Tamil Nadu? It will not because the BJP has grown uh, with and bonds in the last three years. Uh, we have strengthened our organization. Uh, we have gone up to the booth level and there is a drastic change in the entire Tamil Nadu politics. The change is uh, definitely, you know, on the courts. Uh, Mr. Anna is a young dynamic leader has traveled throughout uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, you know but definitely uh, we are very sure because the DMK government has also failed in all their promises they have not done anything to the uh, state of Tamil Nadu they have not uh, tried to you know uh, get revenue for Tamil Nadu that's uh, uh, growing Tamil Nadu economically nothing has been done and even the basic facilities like roads uh, particularly in Chennai so all these things will definitely you know uh, will take us to heights and uh, the excellent role of uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, the uh, people welfare schemes that has been given to Tamil Nadu, the uh, infrastructure activities that has given to Tamil Nadu, definitely all this will take uh, to the heights in Tamil Nadu. Uh, we will have a salient revolution this time in Tamil Nadu. Right. Afizullah, sir, uh, you know, even the Congress actually makes it very clear that it goes moderate on certain issues like CAA or UCC. But your party has been, you know, completely anti-BJP and the policies ideologically for the last many years. Do you think this is something that uh, the party may have to uh, sort of work upon if the BJP comes back to power? And many uh, opinion polls have actually said that NDA could be coming back to power. So do you think this is one area that you may have to moderate your positions on? No, no, certainly not. Uh, DMK as a party stands for the emotion of the people of Tamil Nadu. Here, just before uh, 2014, when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was campaigning, 
no he said that sri lankan uh, atrocities in the indian waters will stop and tamil fishermen will never be attacked but what happened is it has become a daily affair for the fishermen of tamil nadu to get arrested in large numbers they are intruding in indian waters and arresting our fishermen destroying their boats and fishing nets which is causing a grave concern to the life of the tamil fishermen the prime minister is not doing anything no unfulfilled promises there is absolute disregard to the state autonomy which is a sentimental issue of the people of tamil nadu here they are running parallel governments through their governors disrupting and distracting every single activity of the government so all these are going to be considered and tamil nadu is a state which does not take rhetoric from any side they want data they said roads are bad all this is bad you know very you are very own union ministry they are giving up the data which shows tamil nadu is performing in education tamil nadu is performing in uh, in labor force tamil nadu is mm. performing in economy it is the second largest state to contribute for indian economy mm. what is bjp talking about in uh, tamil nadu not doing great this government yes. has brought in a lot of foreign investment there are lot of jobs that they are getting at the same time we are also questioning the bjp about their two crore job per year what happened to that what right. happened to the security and let, life let of the fishermen let me ask a question to sumanth raman uh, uh, sir you know do you see the bjp finally taking the position of the principal opposition in the state and do you think this is actually benefiting the dmk and what are the things that the bjp is getting right and what are still challenge areas for the bjp with you know as far as tamil nadu is uh, concerned yeah um vasudha i think as far as tamil nadu is concerned i don't think the bjp has yet cracked the code they are going to increase their vote share there is no doubt about it and they have they have come some distance but are they in a position to emerge as the second largest player in the state i don't believe that that is the case as yet and uh, we will know the answer to that on the 4th of june the simple reason is uh, i've said this before the way to the tamilian's heart is through his pocket and the bjp has singularly failed in giving adequate funding for the state when it has asked for it i mean there was an awful uh, disaster in terms of a flood which affected the southern districts it's also affected chennai last year and uh, the dmk uh, uh, the chief minister goes meeting after meeting and says they have not given 1 rupee from their from their own funds so i think that this made this makes an impact right all india institute of medical sciences announced several years after the one in madurai have been inaugurated not a single brick has been laid uh, for even the foundation has not come up in the uh, aims in madurai right so i think that the bjp has missed a trick here this kashi tamil sangam and sengol and all that i don't think that they have any kind of any significant impact let me ask If this to mr tirupati so, one, one point one yes, point was the yes sir please continue uh, in, in, you know the prime minister making dozens of visits to tamil nadu he could have announced 200 crores a token relief for floods it it robs the dmk of a very emotive and important uh, propaganda i mean the propaganda plank against the bjp mr tirupati so, would you like to respond to that uh, you know this this yeah, yeah, whole yeah, allegation yeah. that you know the center could have done a little more and also do you think the bjp finally gets the language context right because you know i see the prime minister talk so much about uh, subramanyam bharati and of course uh, uh, you know tirukural now but like mr raman is saying do you think this uh, it will probably take more years for the bjp to actually convince the people of tamil nadu that it is voicing no, their concerns no. Sumanth, uh, you know, always plays to the gallery. Yeah, just before half an hour or maybe one hour back, he has tweeted that in B- BJP is in the, uh, they have in, literally they are in the second place in at least five constituencies. That's what uh, Mr. Sumanth has tweeted. And why did I uh, say that? Maybe sir? by tomorrow. Why did I say okay, that, sir? sir? No, no, no. See, I said it because there. party Mr. called Sumanth DMDK Raman. is your opponent Mr. there. Mr. Sumanth Raman, see that. See, Anybody will get second okay. place with them. Mr. Sumanth Raman, okay. please allow me to speak. Okay. Yes. see uh, today you have come out with five seats tomorrow you will come out with 10 seats and day after tomorrow you will be for 15 seats and before the election we will be there in number one position for in so many seats let us for number number 2 he was talking about the rains you know uh, see the, the relief see actually the the bjp government has increased the state uh, disaster response fund to 1200 crores right. before bjp came it was only 200 or 300 crores now it is 1200 crores out of which 900 crores plus 546 crores totally 1500 crores have been given even the state government has spent only uh, around 4600 crores out of which this amount has been sent spent and uh, 
the the cm relief fund has been there and the entire world knows including mr sumanth raman that it is absurd to say that uh, bjp has not given relief fund or something like that because Sorry. every each and everything have, mr sumanth i have not interrupted yeah, you finish, spoke finish. please okay. don't finish. 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 okay yeah so yeah. Uh, see it, it is well I'll, I'll known to you, mr raman yes yeah, yeah. Uh, it is well known that the uh, the demand or the uh, uh, the relief fund will be through the respective departments respective mr ministries. hafizullah would you it would you like normal. to respond it, it to that normal. also number 3 number 3 also number three, mr uh, mr tripathi i'm i'm running short of time so you know uh, mr I, hafizullah there is another allegation that the prime minister keeps talking about is the dynasty politics you know dmk still is family run and you know even today we saw the list and many old timers have been fielded do you think that this is something that the party will find it difficult to defend because at the end of the day it is you know one family which is at the center of your party's politics madam it is totally unbelievable that the bjp which has alliance with uh, chirag paswan who is son of ram vilas paswan hd devagowda and uh, his son hd kumarasamy is there you know chandra babu naidu is an heir apparent of ram rao you know with so many people around you and even in tamil nadu ramdas and anbumani ramdas are there you know ttv dinagaran was a heir apparent of uh, sasikala jayalalitha they come in that lineage with so many dinners with them just cherry picking on dmk and congress is absolutely okay, okay i get your so point last word from mr samant raman sir how do you see the 2026 scene you have uh, vijay you have udayanidhi stalin you have uh, of course uh, annamalai also like sort of rising uh, what do you think 2026 is going to look like i think it's way too early to talk of 2026 uh, we could have changing alliances significantly by then but i think the more important point uh, that i wanted to make is that even as far as 2024 is concerned uh, in a most of the constituencies this is a straight battle between the dmk and the aia dmk with the edge to the dmk combined simply because of the alliance factor and the opposition vote being split because the bjp and the aia dmk have broken up uh, the point mr narayanan made very cleverly where i tweeted about five seats is where the dmdk which is a much weaker partner of the aia dmk is contesting where the bjp i feel can uh, can score over them not over where aia dmk is contesting the okay. third point which he made the sdrf funds were increased not for tamil nadu alone but they were increased for all states importantly oh, wow. from the central quota money has not been given okay. it was given for gujarat it was right. given for uh, uh, right. for the floods in uttarakhand it was not released for tamil nadu what mr okay. narayan okay mr raman i'm completely out of time thank you mr tirupati yeah. thank you mr raman and thank you mr hafizullah for joining us on this broadcast bjp making a big pitch for tamil nadu that votes in the first phase will know what happens on the 4th of june